Hello friends and welcome to the video on calendars. In this video you are going to be finding out the quickest and easiest method to find out the day if the date is given. So to begin with you need to remember a formula. The formula is very very simple. It's D plus M plus C plus Y plus Y by 4 modulus 7. Now I will be explaining all of this. First you need to understand two mathematical operations. This means taking the quotient. So you take y, you divide there by 4 and whatever quotient you get, you put this in this. Now once you take this entire expression, you divide it by 7 and then you take the remainder. Modulus function is for the remainder and once you get that you will get the answer and what do you do with the answer you simply check this table this is very simple 0 means Sunday 1 means Monday 2 Tuesday and so on 6 means Saturday so whatever answer you get accordingly will be the day now let's before I explain this much to you let me take an example so let us say you have to find out the day for the date 11 January 1982. So let me write this here D, M, C and Y and Y by 4. D here means the date. Date is 11. So let me put 11. Month is a code for the month. The code for January is 0. I will tell you the code for all the months. It is not exactly that January is 0 so February is 1. It is not like that. But January has a code 0. Then C is for the century. So in this case, this is the 20th century and whenever your year is in the form 1900 something, so 1900 and something means your C is equal to 0. So for 19 your code C is equal to 0. So I put this here. Y is the second two digits of the year. So in this case Y is equal to 82. So if I divide 82 by 4, my quotient is 20. So as you see this is a quotient function so this number here is 20 now I have to take the modulus of 7 so what I can simply do is I can take the modulus of all these numbers so let me write this again what I do here is that I take the modulus of 11 that is if I divide 11 by 7 my quotient will be 1 and the remainder will be 4 so I put 4 here. 0 divided by 7 obviously leaves a remainder of 0. 0 divided by 7 leaves a remainder of 0. 82 divided by 7 leaves a remainder 5. You can check that. And 20 divided by 7 leaves a remainder of 6. So I have all my numbers in here. So let me plug this in my formula. I have 4 plus 0 here plus 0 plus 5 plus 6. So when I sum this, I get answer as 15. Now again, because this number is greater than 7, I will take the modulus again. So finally I take 15 mod 7 and the remainder when 15 is divided by 7, the remainder is 1. So as I told you from the previous table, basically what we have seen is 11 January 1982 was a Monday. So I think this makes the basic method to you very clear. So you just need to for each of these variables you have to find out the, uh, the numbers from the date given and you have to find out the answer and depending on the answer you will get the day. Okay now let us now find out exactly how these variables are found. Okay now as I told you C is the century code. So for the century code if I have the, that is years of the form 1901, 1947 etc. The century code is equal to 0. And if I have the 21st century that is years of the form 2010, 2014 etc. The century code in this case is 6. So in the exam mostly you will be asked questions on only these two 
kind of dates. So right now you can remember these two codes. For the other centuries, towards the end of the video, we will be telling you what are the codes for the other centuries. Okay, now here is the only bit of this method which is slightly complicated. So let's see how we find this out. So there are two kinds of cases. One is a normal year and another is leap year. So in this case, for the normal year, the values are this. So as you saw in the example question for January, the code is 0. And but it's not, I told you it's not in order. So it's not the February is 1. February is 3. Then March is 3. April is 6. And so on as you can see in this table. Now obviously, it will be difficult for you to, you might feel how can I remember these 12 codes and again for the leap year it's further January is not 0 but January is 6 and February is 2. Rest of the codes are the same. So March is 3 and April is 6 and so on. Now I will give you a very simple way of learning this. Just look at these numbers to begin with. This is a very simple number. 25035. Okay. In Hindi, if you understand Hindi, it's Pachis Zero Penthis. This is a very relatively simple number to remember. So I think it should not be very difficult for you to remember this. And this is the code from backwards. So this is for December, this is November, October, September, and August. So August, September, October, November, December is this 25035. What about the other months? So now Let's look at these months, March to July, again 5 months, okay. This is very simple, what you do is see, you add 1 to all of these. What do you get? 36146 and this is exactly your code here, 36146. So now by remembering this number, you actually the number of 25035, you not only have the code for the last 5 months, you also have the code for the previous 5 months which is 36146. Now the only problem remaining now are the first 2 months. So January it's very simple to remember you know everything normally starts with the 0. Even in a day uh, thing, 0 is Sunday, January is 0 and the only thing you now need to now remember is that February is 3. So you can, uh, one way of also remembering February is that there are 3 odd days in January. This means January has 31 days. So if you divide 31 by 7, that is whole weeks, you, you get 4 whole weeks, 28 days that is and then you get 20, so you have 3 odd days remaining. So though that 3 basically gets added here in February. But don't try to do this for the for the rest of the things. It will get complicated and you will get it wrong. This is only for your remembrance. Now in a leap year, January becomes 6 and February becomes 2. So this is something that you need to change. One thing you need to remember is normally you would expect January to be the lowest. But in case of a leap year, uh, 6 is greater than 2. So again something to remember. So you have to remember this table but once you remember this table this method as you saw is very very simple and straightforward okay now let's take some, some examples so let's say we're trying to find out the day of 15th august 1947 firstly just go and write down the formula d plus m plus c plus y plus y by 4 mod 7 just simply write down all these values your d is 15 15th august the month is August and if you if you remember from the previous table August has a code of 2. C it is the 20th century so 19 so the code is 0. Y is 47 so write Y is 47. Y divided by 4 the quotient is 11. So again it is D M C Y Y by 4. So here you have 15 the remainder when 15 is divided by 7 is 1. 2 remains 2. 0 remains 0. 47 the remainder is 5 and 11 the remainder is 4. So now these are the set of numbers that I need to plug into my formula. Very straightforward 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 5 plus 4 this is equal to 12. So 12 mod 7 is equal to 5. Now 5 is a Friday. 
so india got its independence on a friday as you see it's very very simple and straightforward so now i'm taking 26 january 2000 2000 is a leap year the first thing that you need to see is what is the year whether it is leap or whether it is not a leap year because as you saw that in my month code there is a change in case it is a leap year or it is a non leap year my d is 26 now for january and february i told you if it is a non leap year january is zero code and february is three but in case it is a leap year january becomes six and February becomes 2. So for the month, January's code in a leap year would become 6. C, okay, now this is the 21st century. So 20XX or XY is 6. Y here is 0. So Y by 4, the quotient when 0 is divided by 4 is also 0. The remainder is 5. In this case it is 6, 6, 0 and 0. So this is, if you add all these numbers, you get 17. So 17 mod 7, the remainder when 17 divided by 7 is 3. So when it is 3, the day is a Wednesday. Take another example. 25th March 2027. Okay, then first thing I check, this is not a leap year. Okay, so good. Uh, no complications here. So D is 25. March, the code is 3. C, the code is 6 because it is 20 something something. Y is 27 and in this case if I divide it, I get 6. Now when I take the modulus with 7, I get the remainder 4, 3, 6. The remainder is again 6 and in this case the remainder is again 6. If I add all these numbers, I get 25. So then I need to take 25 mod 7 my answer 4 so for the day comes out to be thursday so now again just to revise how you get the code you know this just as a revision try to remember 25035 okay so this is your december so this is november october september and august so let me write the other ones also a little of, bit of a mess but anyways so january february separate for these, you just need to add 1 to all these. So 2 plus 1 is 3 for March. April becomes 6. May becomes 1. June becomes 4. And July becomes 6. Straightforward. And January, February, you just need to remember is 0 and 3 and 6 and 2 for the leap years. So this is how you remember the codes for the year, months. I told you that we will be telling you codes of other centuries. Just remember this. 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. Minus 2 is 2 minus 2 is 0 so just remember 6 okay and let me also write this again here 0 2 4 6 so 6 4 2 0 and then it keeps repeating like this now like i told you if it is the uh, the it, year of the kind 1900 and something that is the 20th century i was using 0 if it was 20 something something i was using 6 similarly if i use 21 so if my year was in something year like 2152, then I will be using the century code as 4. 22 will be 2 and so on. If similarly, if I go back, this will be the 18th year, the 19th century that is. This will be the 18th century and this will be the 17th century. So this is how you get the codes. So basically, if you remember 19th is 0, you just remember that whenever you go up, you follow the sequence 0, 6, 4, 2, 0 and so on and on this side also. So this is how you get code for the other centuries. Using this method you can very quickly within seconds you can find out any day if you are given the date. Hope this is useful. Thank you.